Hello and welcome to day 25 of our Bible Books Challenge. My name is Mark Tomlinson, I'm the Children's Outreach Worker at St Mary's Parish Church in Cheadle. Uh, I hope you've been along with me as we've been doing all these different days as we've been looking at this Bible Books Challenge, trying to see from the pictures that we've got uh, which book of the New Testament, because we're in the New Testament now, which book of the New Testament the picture represents, and maybe looking a little bit more into the book itself to find out a bit more about what the book's all about. Today is Friday, uh, day 25, so what we usually get on a Friday is a bonus picture for the weekend. So instead of having the normal two pictures, we have three. Uh, but at this weekend, it's a little bit different, and I'll explain a little later what we're doing in a few minutes. But first two are pictures from yesterday. Did you work them out? Picture number 12, first of all. Here we have, we've got a ring and a couple of people fighting, they're dressed appropriately. I'm guessing you'll already know that they kind of dressed in judo outfits. So it's a judo competition and if you notice the cup as well, it's got some writing on it. So here is a man in a judo competition fighting to win the cup. Can you see what the competition is? It says on the cup, doesn't it? It's the Faith Cup. Judo sounds like the name of the author of this letter. It is in fact Jude and our picture also reminds us of what his letter is all about. It's about being willing to fight for the faith that you have. Of course that doesn't mean actual fighting physically but rather being willing to stand up for what you believe. Have you thought about that? Jude writes that being a Christian is not a passive thing. It's not something that we do to sit back and do nothing. It's an active thing. It's not a soft option, but it is full of challenges and we always need to stand strong for this faith that we have. And that's what the book is all about. So that's picture number 12. Here's picture number 13. So what did we have? We have uh, what seems to be a king on a throne. Uh, he's got his uh, scepter there and his, his, his throne is on a mat and the mat has a big letter on it, the letter U. So a king on a U mat. It is the mat that gives us a clue to this book in the New Testament. Mat U. Well, it sounds like this gospel writer's name. Yeah, and we've, he's not the first gospel writer that we've seen so far. His name is Matthew. Matthew. Remember, we've already done another gospel book, haven't we? That was Luke. And can you remember what gospel means? That's right, it means good news. It's the good news of Jesus from a slightly different aspect from Luke, as Matthew has written. And this book was written by one of the 12 disciples who was very keen to show the Jews that Jesus fulfilled, that is, made true all the Old Testament prophecies about the coming Messiah. Prophecies are writings about the future, things that are going to happen. And the prophets, God's messengers in the Old Testament, wrote loads of things about God's coming Messiah. That is, God's promised, chosen, special king. The Jews expected a king descended from King David. And Matthew shows them that Jesus has all the credentials. That is, he, ha he ticks all the boxes for the things that were written. But Jesus was so much better than an earthly king. In fact, Matthew even traces Jesus' ancestors back to Abraham, the father of the Jewish nation, way back in Genesis. So those are our two books today, uh, 12 and 13, Jude and Matthew. And now to our Bible Books Challenge weekend special. I'm going to give you the opportunity, uh, the chance to try and remember some books from the Old Testament. So rather than giving you the bonus picture, so having three uh, to consider over the weekend, uh, three new ones, I want us to think back to all the 39 books that we've done in the Old Testament and give you a chance for a bit of a review of all that you've learnt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you 12 pictures from the 12 of the 39 books from the Old Testament. And what I would like you to do is three things. Firstly, work out from the picture which book it is, preferably without going back to anything that you've done before. Uh, try and see if you can remember from those pictures what you learnt all those uh, days and weeks ago. Secondly, try and write a brief summary of the book. Uh, it doesn't have to be in great detail, but just from your knowledge of what you can remember. 
Uh, and thirdly, to put the 12 in their correct order of appearance in the Old Testament. They're obviously going to be scattered around the Old Testament, but to put them in their, what's that time phrase I've used before, in their order, in their chronological order, although that's not strictly true, but it's, it's the order in which they appear in our Bibles today. Now you could do this on your own, but isn't it a great opportunity if you've been doing this as a family, to do it as a family and to work collaboratively together, work together to try and see what you can remember and which of the books they are and see if you can share your knowledge as you go through. So here are the 12 books. Remember what we're doing, we're, we're saying what you see, trying to work them out. This was one of the funny ones. I really, if you remember, I explained number one, uh, my rector in particular uh, says he'll never forgive me for that first one, but I thought I'd throw it in there again, give you a chance to look at that one. So there's the first and the second and the third on the top line. Then we've got four, five in the middle and six on the second line, seven, eight and nine on the third line. And here we go with the last three, 10, 11, here it comes. And finally, the last one, we've got 12. So remember, you're gonna to have to work them out again. I'm really encouraging you not to look up, not to look back, not to do any of that, but try and work with each other, remind each other and discuss all the things you've done. Now, as I say, you may be doing that already in your families or together, uh, maybe over lunch each day, however you're doing that. If you're not with others, well, why don't you ring some of your friends up and see if you can do a Zoom meeting or something similar and uh, work them out together over the weekend. And then on Monday, I'll give you the answers to those 12. So you know what you're doing. You've worked out all those things. Uh, that's a great opportunity for us to just review and see what it is that you've learned, particularly from the Old Testament. And then on Monday, we'll return to two new tip pictures for the New Testament. So have a great weekend. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the weather as well. And um, stay safe and uh, have lots of fun. God bless.